And now joining us is Pastor Femi Fasheru. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. You're most welcome. My pleasure. The, the ban is finally lifted. Would you say this is prayers answered for you? Exactly, exactly. This is prayer answered. We needed the church to congregate, and um, we believe that there is power. Um, um, the more we are in the place of the Spirit, the more powerful we are. We understand that the way we communicate with God does not have to be in a church building. But what is important also is the fact that we have um, to touch and agree. We have to be in the same place of the Spirit. There is a dimension of power that comes to the church when we congregate, when it's an assembly of God's people. And we are glad that we're going to be able to experience that again. We've missed that in a long while. We've prayed for this, and we thank God that the nation is in a position to be able to grant this, um, um, host this privilege to be able to worship freely. The, the governor, um, in his uh, statements, is not mincing words in terms of the protocols to be adhered by strictly. Are you prepared to meet these protocols? As a church, as a local church, um, KICC um, is ready for the reopening of the churches. We've been ready. In fact, the last time when we got the wind that we were going to um, be given the um, go ahead to start, we were ready. We have in our church, as anyone comes in, there is um, clear enough sign to say that you have to maintain social distancing. Um, if you're going to um, have a chat with somebody at the uh, desk, information desk, there is a screen between you and the person to make sure that you are not able to breathe into each other. Um, by the time you want to come into the auditorium itself, there is um, the, um, your, 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 your temperature will be taken um, at the door and it's automatic as well. Um, from there, you proceed into a tunnel, and inside that tunnel uh, that is going to lead you into the main bowl of the auditorium, there is what we call a sunny tunnel. So you walk in there, automatically you are going to be um, sanitized, um, and then um, you get into the auditorium, and um, there is um, the seats are nicely spaced out um, to ensure social distancing, and um, we, we ensure that... Um, People avoid touching each other in church, and we encourage all the protocols that the government has put in place. We all embrace right. it. We are ready, okay, as Pastor. in we were ready like a month ago. Pastor Fasher, I, I want to I want to ask your opinion on this. Earlier, we had spoken with, um, I believe, the uh, Secretary General for the Muslim Media Practitioners, um, and he, um, from his perspective, thinks that it's not time for us to reopen. He also feels that, um, um, you know, it, th this order is coming because of the pressure from church leaders and from, of course, um, imams, I believe, in the society who have pressured the government into opening. But he believes that it's not time for us to reopen and we should be more concerned about protecting lives and ensuring that the curve is completely flattened. Would you say that um, you agree that the curve needs to be flattened completely before we reopen or we're good to go? I do not um, share that opinion um, with, 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 the, with the leader. Um, um, I do not share that opinion at all. And if, in fact, if you ask me, um, what is the benefit of the church not being opened since the last time it was supposed to be opened? If you ask me, what has the government done, you know, to say that the, the things, um, the, the climb has changed? What has changed in the last one month? That is not saying that this is a better time for us to open the church um, than we could have opened last month. The truth of the matter is um, nothing structurally has been done. Nothing. Um, should the churches be opened? Yes. Because shutting the church down does not really, really help the situation. Um, it can only... It can only help if we open the church. At least the church can fight the battle spiritually alongside the government. But we have the bosses that are still plying the road. We have the markets that are still opened. Businesses are running for crying out loud. You know, social distancing is not on our streets. It's not on the bus stop. We have entrusted um, the, the taxi drivers to be able to ensure social distancing in their vehicles, but we cannot trust our religious leaders. 
right. that I do not subscribe to. This cannot be a better time for us to open the churches. And it's now time for us as church leaders and as faith leaders in the land to demonstrate to the government how responsible we are and for us to be treated um, um, likewise. So right. we can't be shut down. For Thank what you. reason? If you are talking about um, an organization that can ensure the safety of lives, it has to be the, it has to be the church. That's what we are there for. Jesus said, I've come to give life and give it to you, to, to, to you more abundantly. We are about giving the best in life. So we should be trusted with whatever situation. Let the churches be opened. Let the churches be accountable. Let okay. the leaders of the churches. Thank you very much. Let them lead appropriately. And then it will only be for the benefit of the land.